Morning world, it's 5 to 8 in the morning, it's the 5th of April 2013 and I'm going to continue this series of videos on meanings of individual points in the sky and today I want to talk about the astrological mid-heaven, wildly understood. The mid-heaven is one of the mathematically worked out points in the horoscope. It represents that point of the sun's orbit that is at its highest point in the sky at the moment that you were born. If you were born on the equator, it would be the point that would be directly overhead. The middle of the heavens stands for basically three separate subjects. From a psychological perspective, the mid heaven stands for the relationship one has with all systems of authority. Whether that authority is father, mother, God, teacher, employer, any person or any structure that seeks to impose some type of discipline, control or structure around oneself when dealing with the outside world. It is authority systems. The Midheaven also stands for your own professional outlook. It stands for your career and your goals. It is the start of the 10th house. In 39 different house systems that I'm aware of, 38 of them will have the Midheaven as the start of the 10th house. The only one that doesn't is the equal house system. With the Midheaven as the start of the 10th house, then the Midheaven obviously stands for the point of reference where one deals with work, career, goals, ambition, job. The Midheaven also in a third separate stance, stands for one's public image. It is the way you project yourself into and onto the outside world as being. Whereas the ascendant or rising sign is the armour you put on as you go outside the front door and it's the way the outside world sees you at the minute by minute level and it's the way the outside world interacts with you. The midheaven is the way you consciously and actively project yourself into and onto the outside world. It is the first glimpse. It is the way people take you at the first minute of meeting. So look at the sign on your midheaven. If you've got a Leo midheaven, your first glance with people, your first meeting with people will be quite big, feisty, fiery, loud. If you've got a cancer midheaven, then you're going to come across at first glance as someone who's a bit more uh, behind the scenes, superficially insecure. If you've got a Sagittarius midheaven, you may come across initially as someone who's quite bouncy, loud and, and not the most subtle on the block. The midheaven is only the superficial dressing on the cake when it comes to describing one's internal status. It only deals with a very outside shell. It should not be taken seriously as a point of direct um, um, character description. Nevertheless, it's a very useful tool for determining when in one's life issues around career, personal success, prominence, visibility and sometimes fame or infamy come to light. Transits to the midheaven, particularly conjunctions and oppositions from almost any planet in the sky will bring issues around work, career, as well as your visibility and prominence and status in the world into the picture. And sometimes it can bring your clashes with authority as well. So when you have a look at your midheaven, see how you project yourself in the world, be aware of when planets are coming up to or opposing your midheaven, and know when to count to 10 and when instead to push for that pay rise as opposed to staying below the radar screen. Okay, hope that's helpful. Catch you later. Bye.